Would you have still dropped Duck Sick if Quick would have came back the next day and apologized? Duck Sick was never a song about Quick. So just to clear that the air, I don't know why people think that Duck Sick was ever a DJ Quick diss. Uh, Duck Sick was dissing some other niggas out of Linwood who was a little rap crew at the time. That's like crazy. I said, I didn't even know Quick at that time. You know what the crazy part is, dog? The niggas out of Linwood couldn't even get their own diss record. The niggas always thought it was about Quick. Oh, no, because that was in the... Um, that was in the circuit of, you know, niggas was, you know, getting getting off. And a lot of niggas was on independent little record labels. And, you know, so we were up and coming, CMW. We had a little 12-inch out. And we had a little bullshit uh, diss from another little rap crew. And... But everybody, I guess, because everybody just, it was a diss record. And if you listen to it, it sound like you dissing somebody. Man, so, you, you know what's crazy? If them cats would have knew that it was them that y'all was dissing, they'd have probably been happy. Oh, we got them to respond. We, um, I don't know if we actually called their names out. But, you know, we talked about the situation. But back then, we was just on the friendly diss tip. We wasn't looking at it like, Oh, we gonna finna run through these niggas' neighborhood and see where they from and all that. Like I said, um, even though we was hood niggas, man, uh, I still took in the hip hop element and of all that, and it was just a diss record. You get me? I didn't think anything was gonna come behind it. Now, if niggas wanted to take it to some street on some hood, shit, mm -hmm. it would have went there. But to me, it was just friendly hip hop. Dissing banter. A lot of niggas was dissing each other back in the early rap days. Yeah, for real, man. Now, you know what? The, the crazy part about now, like I said, these artists ain't gonna never face each other. They never go come in contact with each other. Even with yeah. the even, even with the um, Tupac and Biggie, shit, them niggas never actually cross paths with each other. As long as, as our little shit went on, we didn't cross paths but maybe once. You get me? It wasn't like, oh, well, we know these niggas, you know, finna be performing tonight, so we finna, we didn't do that shit. We was like, ain't nothing coming over here to the neighborhood bothering us, mm -hmm. and our motherfucking careers at that time was in to where promoters wouldn't, they would never book us. You get me? It wasn't like a promoter would call and be like, hey, I got DJ Quick on the bill, AMC8, which you, you, I never, I never, we never got booked on the show together. That was later on down the line mm -hmm. because of, motherfuckers knew that's a sensitive situation. Yeah, promoters had common sense. They wasn't going to do that and get that shit And especially up. if it was a promoter from the West Coast or anybody who knew the, the era of gangbanging. If I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta chronic pose. This is not your average show.